Hello and welcome. Today we want to present you the new Glidecam XR Pro. The XR Pro are capable to handle cameras up to 10 pounds at around 5 kilos. And you can put some really light cameras also on this. What comes in the box? Of course the Glidecam XR Pro gimbal with the center post. We have the camera top plate. We have the bottom plate for the counterweights. We have 14 big and 4 smaller counterweights. And we have 4 plates for the camera plates as a additional weights. We have enough uh, washers with uh, screws for the counterweights and for the camera. And the first assembling is pretty straightforward. Um, this attach the inner tube of the center post and screw them on the bottom plate, on the plate for the counterweights. Then you put the camera plate on the top of the center post. So on this side of the gimbal. This is the front side and this is the back side on the top and this is the front on the bottom plate. Keep this consistent on one side. To make it perfect, realign the clamp of the telescopic post. For this you need a screwdriver, bring it in one line with the bottom and the top plate and everything is perfect. The best way is to face it backward. In the box you find two different lengths of bolts for the counterweight. On the bolts you put the rubber washers to prevent any sliding on the bottom plate. Bring it from the bottom to the top and now you can put some weights on this. Secure this with the black thumb nuts. Bring the weights to the outside of the bottom plate. The shorter bolt gives you room for seven plates, the longer for nine plates. On a camera plate we have two black thumb screws on each side and on the bottom we have four. Two on the front and two in the back and when we loosen this we can adjust this side by side and forth and back. When you remove the black thumb screws be careful not to lose this special washers. And we find four additional weight plates for the camera plates and this makes it unique so you find your weight you need to balance the system. And the additional weights have the same pattern of holes to find the right direction. Now it's time to put the camera on the camera plate. For this you will find a hole that fits for the best position and you will find enough screws. Always use a washer between the plate. But I highly recommend to use a quick release plate like this from Manfrotto D577. It's perfect to mount it on the plate and leave it on the plate. You will find two ways to screw it in. The big one, the smaller one, always with a washer. And then you can reassemble everything. With this quick release plate it's a matter of seconds to put the camera on the glide cam and put it off. But first we want to find the center of gravity of our camera setup. Camera setup in this case the camera body with the lens and you wiggle this on a tube. Mark this point and keep in mind that you bring your zoom lens on the designated focal length because otherwise it extend and change the center of gravity later on the system. Then deattach your lens cap. When you bring your camera on your Glidecam XR Pro, bring the mark you made before right over the center post. This will help you to balance your system really quick. As you see, this system is top heavy. So we have to bring more weight on the bottom or we extend the telescopic post. This is much more clever in this case. And as we see here, the system is nearly neutral. This is not good for operating, but it's a good starting point. Because now I have only extended a little bit more, one and a half to two centimeters more, and I get a really good balance. Bring everything in one line, the camera plate and the bottom plate, and you're ready to go and ready for the first test, the drop time test. 
1000, 2000. So it needs two seconds to swing from the horizontal position to the vertical position, 90 degrees. And this is the first test you have to make before you adjust anything else. If this is between two and two and a half seconds, it's perfect. After this, and really after this, now you can adjust the head, the camera plate, side by side and front to front until the system is absolutely straight vertical. So if the system swings to the right side, bring the camera plate more to the left side. If it tilts forward, bring it back. Slightly easy with your fingertips. After this, you have to secure the knobs and always detach the cap from the lens. And of course, if you forget this, you have to readjust this because the lens cap is heavy enough to change the weight. But even really small cameras like a GoPro, you can fly with your XR Pro from Glidecam. With one of the additional weight plates on the top or the uh, quick release plate from Manfrotto, you have enough weight on the top to balance even a 200 gram GoPro. So from 200 to 5000 grams, 5 kilo is the maximum payload. So you can adjust and you can fly nearly any camera you want to hold in your hand. So it's pretty easy to have fun with this and with your cameras. One major and last tip. Always operate with all your five fingers, not the index finger and the thumb. Always the thumb and the index finger in opposite side and the pinky had to be on the tube. So now you prevent any drifting, any tilting of the center post. This was a short overview of the new XR Pro from Glidecam.